So another thing to talk about is this. Um, there's been an update courtesy of Hypebeast concerning Matteo Blasi's Bottega Veneta Winter 2022 collection. And we get to see it in its entirety. I think I featured it before on my channel and I spoke about how impressed I was with it how I felt like it definitely did show that Matteo Blasi was definitely the genius or the real kind of um, special person behind Bottega Veneta when it was going through its most successful spell. Especially before that, what's his name? Daniel Lee guy ended up getting fired for whatever set thing that he allegedly said or didn't say um, in terms of what he called somebody in his office, you know, whatever, nigger, nig nog, who knows what happened. And then Matteo Blasi ended up kind of replacing him because he was somebody that was working in the background and somebody that was responsible for doing some of the more um, standout pieces in Bottega Veneta during that time, such as the suiting and whatnot, some of the knitwear, some of the bags, some of the boots, blah, blah, blah. And when Matteo Blasi did end up presenting his first collection with Bottega Veneta I was really impressed by it I thought it was a real cool kind of continuation of the stuff that was under Daniel Lee's tutelage I felt like again like I said it did really illustrate to me that Matteo Blasi was definitely one of the key people behind making Bottega Veneta a big success during that time and it kind of just did feel like a same a bit of the a bit of the same but a bit of the new kind of injected into it and I'm really eager to see what he ends up doing next for his next collection but now we get to see a closer look on the entire pieces I'm going to put that on your screen courtesy of hypebeat so you can see what it looks like i've been told via people on in, on instagram and twitter some of the fashion besties that i kind of know from afar that this look i think it was one of the first looks that came out of the runway is actually all leather so if you're not look if you're not looking at the picture it's basically a classic button-up shirt with stripes with some blue jeans and some dark blue derby shoes or boots but allegedly this actually is actually all in leather it looks like it's cotton or you know standard denim material but it's actually all leather which is quite incredible if you look at it because it definitely does look like a classic cotton shirt with denim jeans but madness so yeah um, everything around that i'm pretty much a fan of i like whatever these cuffling things or these clasps are on the blazers here just at the bottom of the lapels that looks pretty nice the bag is really cool as well they always make great bags and they've got the same sort of material going on on the sandals the tailoring looks pretty awesome too a nice use of color the shapes are really nice I always like the shoulders of Bottega Veneta it really kind of sits really well maybe the suiting is also something that's very underrated in their collection they've got a nice look here six with the white suit I mean with a white um, vest top with some brown trousers I saw somebody make a really interesting observation about vest tops as well saying that it was a it was what you could it was something that promotes only skinny people or something i forgot what it was it was an interesting kind of quote i maybe try and get up and talk about it next time on the podcast but i thought that was a pretty interesting observation but yeah regardless um i love this look it looks really clean looks really chic um you've got these amazing boots that are covered in this kind of mesh that we saw this kind of net that we also saw showcase on the runway if i'm not mistaken the same sort of application was done on bags so if you're not seeing it it's basically like the leather boot with like a mesh net around it um which is pretty nice and then you've got these leather pleated pants that look beautiful absolutely beautiful and maybe that le maybe that vest top is actually leather as well which is crazy a leather vest top right i'm not sure what the perspiration is going to look like or feel like but that's cool nice little bracelet detail there just a little nice to kind of give it a bit of a pop or oh, this white kind of cream off-white look is really lovely look number seven i'm a big fan of that with that double-breasted jacket it's definitely always a win when it comes to men's collection that kind of style of jacket i've got the name of it. it's called a nice relaxed sort of look here look number eight with some baggy trousers and some what it looks like might be like skate inspired trainers or something or cat or standard canvas shoes i don't know but they look really nice as well but yeah just a really cool clean collection from what my fairy blaze is doing here at protect veneta and i'm really eager to see what he does next going forward um they did they really did a good job in terms of picking him to be the successor to daniel lee i feel like you know especially considering how how hot Bottega Veneta was at the time and the work that they did it would be a real shame if they just went a completely different direction and lost all that steam that they or momentum that they kind of build up so they were able to kind of just take the same person who was working in the design team with the Daniel Lee and basically basically give him free reign and tell him hey just continue doing what you're doing and kind of you know hopefully but so but surely I'm sure he's going to kind of you know make his own stamp on the brand but for now he's just evolving and refining what was already there and presenting it through his lens 
lines and then over time you'll probably just do his own thing and kind of steer in a different direction but i like what he's done so far and i think he looks absolutely incredible to me in my opinion um is this available online or something what are, what are they saying here what are the quotes um Take a look at the sample garments and looks above and find the entire collection available online or at Bottega Veneta uh, Boutique. So let's check the online store actually. I want to see what it actually looks like. I've never actually been... Actually, yeah, I did go beforehand, didn't I? Yeah, it's always kind of clean looking. I love that they've got the little green hits here and there that we kind of know to be part of Bottega Veneta's codes and whatnot uh, and branding. That wicker bag type thing they got here, which is, what is it called? It's called a, a large Calimero bag. These are really fucking nice, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful bags. So I guess it's a bag that kid is wearing here at the front, that first one. So it can go around like that, or you can hoop it in this, loop it in this little hoop and then put it over your shoulder, I guess, or wear it under your arm. These lug lace-up boots are really nice too. Essentially, it's a standard lug boot, but they've now got laces on them. So they look really cool. I'm sure they will end up being very, very popular. Those are really, really nice. I'm not going to lie. Um, the squid mule is really cool too. We've got here... The lug boot is back again in a different sort of style, more like a, what do you say? You'd say it's more like a Chelsea boot, right? That shaft here, it's a different shaft detail, but I'd still like the, the thing about me about the lug boot that was really popular, that everyone was wearing for a while, and I think a few people even where I live wearing them, was the sole. The sole was absolutely chunky and really aggressive. And if I'm not mistaken, when you look down on it, it kind of spreads out around the entire shoe. So you get this really aggressive sort of like, you know, um, what do you call it? Star Trooper, Storm Trooper sort of vibe with it, right? That you're kind of stomping around the place. See these extra bits of flipping whatever rubber or whatnot on the outside of it. So you get this nice little look on it. So it looks really cool from the down below. And it's not super squared off as well. It's quite round. So that was quite nice if you were wearing them. And again, those are probably one of the most worn sort of fashion shoes I saw in my everyday life. You know, people wearing the flipping really high Bottega Veneta lug boots um, day to day. So that's that's always a really good endorsement, I think, if you're a designer. People actually wearing your stuff and not reselling it. I think it's always kind of something that's nice to kind of see. Um, that's nice. And let's think we should go up and check out this lace lug boot. What's the vibe with this and how they've done this? This looks pretty decent too, isn't it? Surprised it's actually all in stock. This looks really nice for a thousand one hundred for this boot. I'm assuming it's going to be made in Italy, probably. Um, really good, really good leather. The only thing I don't like is the laces. They look like they're waxed le leather laces or something. Oh no, are they waxed leather laces? Maybe they're not. That's the only thing I'm not really big of a fan of. And maybe this crease here in the middle. Once you start wearing them, they might end up creasing really weird here. But so they've got these little slits to kind of help with them. But I'm not sure how they're going to end up flexing. Maybe you have to end up tying them up really, really tight to make them look somewhat decent. But I do like the look of them, to be honest. They do look really, really cool. So, yeah, big up Bottega Veneta, big up Matteo Blasi. And hopefully we see more from him coming up soon.